Hello Squids, this is Squeeva here with another Unity 3D tutorial. This is going to be the next episode of the puzzle series I'm doing. And in this series, in this um, episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a cube going back and forth, actually two cubes going back and forth, and an exit. Hopefully we'll get to all of that. So, let's start by going to Game Object, Create Other, and a cube. So, here we have our cube. I do not know why Unity chose those areas to spawn. So, in the previous recording failed attempt thing I did, uh, the cube went too fast and I couldn't create the other cube because it just didn't work. But, it'll work this time because I've devised a strategy. I have a cunning plan. Yes, that is how I said it. Okay, so for those of you who didn't just see what I did, I went up to this little tab here, the little uh, upside down triangle with the three bars, add tab, animation. Alright, so... Now that I've done that, I will move on. Uh, you click on transform. Transform represents this little cube here that we're going to be moving. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go here, create a new clip, and I'm just going to call it new animation just so I don't have to name it. So, once you do that, you click here on the transform again. You right click and add curves. After that, you go to about, about a minute and 30 seconds. And in a minute and 30 seconds, we would have moved up to here. And when we play that, good. After that, we will go up to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It's a whole other more, yeah, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, add key there. Great. And by, by now, we would have moved back. There and back again. Let's see if that worked. Yep, there and back again. So, now that we've done that, um, Unity automatically goes in and adds in the keyframes. So, we have the animation, everything's done, except for a few things. Um, let me show you first our final product. Um, this is our final project. Project. Okay, you know what? Yeah, and you see it only goes once, right? So, it goes and then turns into a ledge. What we need to do is we need to go to cube, and actually we might change this after a while, um, once we start make once we start adding interactions like buttons to make the platforms go, but we'll go to, and so you click on the animation, and where it says default, you'll click there, and you'll click on loop, so it keeps going. Um, and default pretty much just plays at once, so once our thing plays, uh, it's almost ready to play, oh man, it's so slow, okay. Um, we can see our thing going. Uh, just wait for it to come back. Ah, no! Okay, you know what? I, I suck at puzzles, and I'll admit that. Anyways, now what you want to do is you want to create... Uh, no. You want to create another cube. Um, you want that to be closest to this one. And here, we're going to hit Control-D, and we'll click here just to rename it and we'll call this other Annie there we go so now when we click on this cube here uh, we can move other Annie in and hopefully that works it should work pretty positive that should work no that doesn't work that doesn't work at all um, I'm starting to think maybe you can only have about one animation at a time or you have to redo the animation so you can just redo the animation. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all that needs to happen. Yes, because you need to create another clip. Right, okay. So you just create another clip. I'm not going to go and do that just for the sake of the tutorial. But you can create another clip and that should work perfectly. So, uh, after that we're going to create the exit. So, game object, create other cube. Um, this is going to require a bit of scripting and we probably won't get all of it done so we're going to move sort of fast and just because we have to move fast I'm gonna pause and be right back when I've gotten the thing made okay so I got the thing made um, this is going to be our exit and this next step is kind of important so I'm not really going to skip over it we're gonna to go to game object create other cube and when we go into here we want to scale it to be the size of our door uh, yeah, around there Kind of in it, out a bit, and just 
move it in. Appearance really doesn't matter in this case, just uh, getting it to line up with the door. There we go. And maybe have it in a bit so you have to go through the you have to go through the door a bit. And here move that down a bit. We're going to when we're selected on the cube, we want to go to materials, we want to mesh rendering, and we're turn mesh rendering off. So there, now it's invisible. Now what you want to do is you want to go to um you want to go to scripts and you want to create a JavaScript. There we go. And we're going to call this enter door. Door. And we're going to open that up. This usually takes a little while. Just going to wait for it to load. It takes a while when I'm not running Bandicam. And now I'm running Bandicam, so, war so it's, it's. What did I say? It's um slower. Slower, much slower. Very slow. Um. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to kind of describe again how to create another cube. What you want to do is you want to create another cube, right? And you want to redo the animation completely. You want to redo every step I did for the first cube. Just with the second animation, you want to rename it. You want to do all of that. Um, is this even loading? Yes, it's loading. Um, wow, we might actually spend the rest of the tutorial waiting for this thing to load. So, because this probably isn't going to load um, at all anytime soon, what we're going to do, do <clears throat> sorry, is uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the entrance to this door. Um, yes, so thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to check out the channels of the other squids. Um, I will get the next tutorial soon. Um, and in that tutorial, I probably will make another cube that works. And if it doesn't work, well, then there you go. You can only have one animation in a scene. <laughs> There's your answer. So, yeah, check out the channels where there's squids, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and squeeze out.